what a what a tremendous uh, atmosphere. Was so thankful for all the Red Raider Nation that showed up. That came to the Bahamas. It really felt like a a home environment at times. Um, you know, three games in three days. I thought we improved. Michigan's a really talented team. Uh, felt bad about the way halftime happened, just because you don't want that to be part of the game. And and um, but it did give us an advantage, and felt like we were able to play hard on both ends for 40 minutes and our guys really competed now I man I thought the game plan the grit and one big key was like how do we keep them off the offensive glass and we only got one offensive uh we got 13 offensive rebounds and they got nine so I felt like that was kind of like how can we win that one felt like that would be the difference so really competitive environment and was really thrilled the way our guys competed okay we'll start with um David Collier Yeah, Coach, uh, a moment ago, Coach Martelli uh, complimented how physical you guys were. When when another coach says something like that, uh, what do you think about a comp compliment like that for you and your players? Yeah, the biggest thing, and I'll tell you, because he's seen a lot of basketball and, he's, and, he, and he coaches a physical style. So, you know, that's really a, a big deal. And don't take that lightly. But these guys practice hard. I mean, you don't show up to these games and it happened because you want it to happen. It you, it happens because of the way you compete on a daily basis. And these guys are allowing us to challenge them and they're tough, man. And I dealt these guys, I thought if you could, if I could tell you one thing that I saw that both these guys did, they had physical wallops at the rim, just the charge block is part of the game, but it really is more about how can you stand your ground without trying to take a charge. And both these guys were tremendous at that. And you want to talk about tough and physical, these two guys were. So obviously uh, very appreciative of the compliment and take it and really are thankful for him because of the respect I have for him. But these guys are so tough and they play hard every day in practice. That's why they can do it in games. Also your thoughts, uh, on how important the start was for you guys. I, I can't remember the, the mark it was, but you guys were shooting 50% early and you kind of opened up the lead pretty quick. Yeah, I mean, we, we've been learning in between games. I mean, last night we watched film and talked about in preparation for this one, um, what we need to do to get better and how do we get better. Um, and so that was what we felt like was important. Like you can concentrate on other people, but really what do you have to do yourself? And I thought our execution on offense early was very, very high level. And that's what allowed us to get baskets. And that's what allowed us to get in the flow of the game. Also, how encouraging was it to be able to spread the ball around so, so well between your players, four different guys and double figures. I think that was the case yesterday as well. Yeah, I've said that from the beginning. It feels like this is a five, six guys in double figures type team. And they just, they really care about each other. They really do. You spend time with them and you talk to them in the huddles and I'm losing my mind. <laughs> they, um, they, they really fight for each other. They care about each other. And that's what you want this to be about because these are the things that you don't forget. You actually forget some of the games, but you don't forget the people that you get to, to do life with. And that's what I love about this group. And they've embraced that and they really pull for each other. And so that's the, I mean, that's the best part of this is how these guys, how these guys really compete and love being on a team together. Devin, what was working so well for you uh, tonight on the floor? Um, I would say like when coach, coach challenges me, you know, that just makes me play even better, you know? So I came out after halftime, you know, after I missed, missed a dunk. And, you know, I just took it took it on the chin, really, and just, you know, came out and played harder. And just my teammates finding me and and some luck on that dunk. Yeah. That was a play. Wasn't it? <laughs> that was wild. And I guess for all three of you here, um, what do you think you guys learned from this, this weekend in the Bahamas and how you can uh, – take it moving forward. Um, I, would oh, I would say just coming um, every game and playing the same, playing the same um, with the same heart, same grit. Cause I feel like yesterday, even with the win, like it was an early game. I think we was definitely me personally. I think I started off bad and like we all started off slow and like, wasn't 
wasn't really prepared, but I think today we was we was ready for you know got some, um, got some extra sleep and really just played for each other like I said and everybody's looking for each other everybody's happy, and everybody like you said four guys in double figures, so we're definitely playing for each other and yeah and defensively you know I think we played very well you know being aggressive walling up like you said you know denying the uh pass pass at lanes, and yeah rebounding well as a team so yeah. Uh, I would say just playing fast from the jump because the last two games, I think we came out kind of flat, especially myself. And we kind of challenged each other as a group, as an entire team, talking about it last night because we were done pretty early. We knew we had to lock in for tonight's game no matter who we played. And just starting out fast and playing physical from the jump so we don't have to come back from a big deficit like we did yesterday and then just playing for each other. And just, Coach, cl um, closing thoughts on the tournament moving forward. Well, I mean, we'll we'll take this, and it's always good to fly home on a win, I'll tell you that much. And we'll get to enjoy the day tomorrow morning. I'm thankful for Texas Tech. I really am. There's a first-class experience, an opportunity to play and battle for Atlantis. We would we wanted to play in the championship game, but we found a way to win two, two games. And obviously, we lost to the eventual champion, which we have a lot of respect for Villanova, but felt like we improved and we got better. And that's what that's what this whole season is going to be about. Like you want to play your best basketball in March and how do you build toward that? And our team took steps in the right direction this week. So really a great opportunity. The Bahamas is amazing. The resort's amazing. My security guy is amazing sitting in the house. It's an awesome trip. Love being around our families and love being around this team. So it's a, it is a blessing and a great week.